Good morning. It's early October and my son and some friends and I are enjoying a wonderful outing to Cathedral Valley. You'll see behind me some of the amazing scenery, the Temple of the Sun and the Moon. We've camped overnight just not far from the spot where I'm standing and I've been able to fly the drone and uh, we got some great aerial footage and some still shots and had a wonderful time. It's been a little cold as the high mountain desert gets in October, but just a gorgeous time to be out. And I'll see if I can share some of the footage of us driving out here. We had a big storm yesterday before we drove in and we weren't sure how the roads would be, but got a little footage of the roads and the amazing scenery as we drove in and then some of the shots from the air. I hope you like it. The Cathedral Valley Loop is visited by less than 1% of visitors to the main Fruta area of Capitol Reef National Park. The entrance is just east of the park and consists of a nearly 60 mile dirt road. When my group visited, the conditions had been rainy all day and we were concerned the road would be passable. We decided to check the road out firsthand before venturing out. It didn't look too bad, so we decided to give the road a try. I had been planning this trip for over six months and I was determined to photograph the amazing sandstone monoliths and cliffs. I did not want to turn back. So you can imagine my excitement when we spotted the sign saying we'd entered Cathedral Valley. Ah, we're here! We did it! The Temple of the Sun towers 400 feet above the valley floor. It's made of Entrada sandstone but has a surprisingly muddy feel to it when you touch it. The Temple of the Moon is just to the south and is 285 feet high. I think they look amazing in the morning sunlight. The rest of the drive through the valley showed my group more vistas of towering cliffs, monoliths, and pinnacles. We saw around 10 other vehicles the entire day, which is a major change from the typical National Park experience. The road is sandy in spots and rocky in others, but it's not a terribly technical drive. We went slow and stopped for photos at nearly every viewpoint. You can see the photos I shot on my Instagram account at Hanson Air Photo. By late afternoon we had reached the bentonite hills near the highway. These striped hills range from blue to almost red. Then, to get back to the main highway, we had to ford the Fremont River. I had been concerned about this earlier in the day, but the water was only about a foot deep and barely reached the running boards on my truck. That got us back to the road home after one of my favorite adventures. <laughs>